Welcome everyone to another episode of Unscripted Coding. Now last week we talked about Langchain and what we did was we went through the docs and just really broke apart what you can do with Langchain. The 10 second recap of this is that Langchain is a framework for large language models. That's AI models like GPT-4 or Claude Anthropic. The idea here is that Langchain will create an application and abstract all the pieces into modules within a chain. And so let's say the first step is picking your mod model. And that could be OpenAI, that could be Azure, that could be someone else. And the idea behind Langchain is you abstract that piece so that you can say use OpenAI today and really quickly take another piece and use Claude or, or Azure or something else. And all down that chain, you can make those changes, whether it is where you access documents, whether it's your document processor, whether it's your um, prompts and, and questions. And so the idea is all of this is modular and you just remove it and add another piece to that chain. So today, what we're going to do is actually try and build something with Langchain. Now we could do something simple, open AI, um, and, and I think that would be fairly easy to do right off the bat, but you're going to see me kind of struggle along the way because I've chosen something a bit harder. So let's talk about open AI for a second, GPT-4. We've done tons of work with the API on this channel. And so there's a limited benefits to using Langchain on top of it because OpenAI is so accessible, it's so easy, it has such a great API interface. Um, that's not true for every service. And so what we want to do today is use Llama 2. Uh, that is Facebook or Meta's open, I'm not even sure if it's open source, but it's freely available model. You have to sign up, you have to register for it, but it is freely available and I think you can use it, make commercial use out of it. So it's a great it's a great option and what the major benefit of Llama is is that it can be run locally on your own computer. And so that's what I want to do today is I want to use Langchain and pick a model Llama 2 that is run locally and see if I could run everything that whole that whole chain, that whole script uh, on my computer alone. Now, if you look at the chat models here and, and just take a look, uh, you, you have lots of options, but Llama is not immediately obvious. The closest one I could find was Llama API. And this is a hosted version. It's not what I want, which is a local run on my own computer version of it. So Llama API is just another API connecting online, just like uh, if I was to use OpenAI. You can see from the tabs I have open here that I looked around online. I haven't done this before. This is unscripted coding. And so I haven't done this before. And it's not immediately obvious how you run it locally. It took a bit of digging. And by no means do I think this is the final answer. But what I think it should be using is this Hugging Face local pipelines. Hugging Face for those of you who, who are in this ecosystem, hosts a lot of these models online. And I originally thought it would be uh, an online API type of thing as well, but it does show up in a few of these tutorials. And what it is, is it's a, it's a local pipeline. Hugging Face Models, which is one of the places you can download Llama, can be run locally through the Hugging Face pipeline. And so this model, it seems like you can, um, it, it, it's been standardized across all of these models so that you can load them locally and, and start asking questions. Now it could be very simple, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out and see where we get to. So I'll stop talking. We're gonna go right back to the start and, and do this installation quick start as we go.
and we've finally run it. Now, this is a bit disappointing because it did take between clicking OK, takes about 30 seconds or so to load the checkpoint shards. And then it took another three to four minutes to turn a, uh, a prompt into an actual response. So limited use. Uh, the other thing is I did run into a number of issues along the way trying to get to a, an answer that um, put dampener on what I wanted to build because I wanted to build one more piece of this chain but I don't want to make this too long a video because I should explain what is happening. So first of all what I'm going to do is share uh, this tutorial from Trisha Nu Das, uh, who who actually wrote all of this code. Um, and so, if you follow uh, her section two using Langchain, uh, you can copy and paste, copy and paste, and and just get it all down along the way, which is largely the code that I have written. Well not written by me, the, the code that I ran. Um, from there, you do need to know a couple of things. First of all, Llama 2 isn't broadly available for download anywhere. You do need to sign up with Meta. It's not a huge gate, but they are just there to make sure that you agree to all their terms as well. Um, that way you get a token on Hugging Face and you need to have this token available. You can see that I hid it away in another file just so that you know you don't make use of my token. Um, from there you download everything, but a couple different, um, different changes here. Uh, first of all, separated a little bit lower in uh, the tutorial is a memory buffer. We didn't get that far. But the other thing that was useful is having a verbose chain. And that way you can see what's happening along the way. Uh, I also wanted to print a done at the end just so that we understand that it's finally done because it was taking so much time to actually run each step. Um, but what's happening here, I'm walking through this, is that you are importing a whole bunch of different things. And you can see from Langchain, we have different modules that we talked about in our previous video. This is the model, the large language model. This is a prompt. This is a memory. This is a chain. So um, from each one, we're taking a piece, but you could take uh, different pieces as well. So for example, this chain, we didn't have to have a conversation. We could have a, a completion type of model instead. Um, we have a couple other pieces here. There is, um, I'm just moving this for organization. We have transformers, auto tokenizer. This will help with the token. Um, but basically what you're doing first is you're specifying a model. You're uh, using the auto tokenizer to get through the um, get through the, uh, the the gate to access Llama 2, and then we're going to uh, get the pipeline going by specifying what model and what the different what the different um, uh, inputs are. Uh, there are a couple different things. I, I'm not going to claim I know what all of these are, but when I was having trouble with this number, and I, I think I'm going to try and run this again with B16, um, Bfloat16, it seems like 16 is for GPU, which typically runs a lot faster than CPU at 32. So there are a few of these where you probably want to dive down and understand what is actually happening here. Now I'm going to take a wild guess here. I don't want to trust remote code. <clears throat> From there, uh, you you take that pipeline and you set it as your LLM. Uh, they have the author put in a generic prompt template. And here you can see that our prompt is built of that prompt template and putting in various uh, some variables in there. Then we start the chain, which is a conversation chain. We have the input, uh, this memory piece up here. Don't care about that too much. But we have our prompt and our large language model. Then each step of the way, we are just going to um, run 
steps of the chain. And so in theory, we could take this um, and we could run another chain afterwards. So chain.run and then say, you know, tell me something special about this capital in India and then keep chaining down. Now, the real problem here is that this is probably not the best first project for me because it was taking so much time between the steps. I probably should start with OpenAI to get an understanding of how all these pieces fit together so I can build something really cool. But I did have an objective in mind when I started this particular project. I was hoping that this would go very smoothly and I would say the next piece of the chain is uh, the document retrieval model that I could uh, retrieve documents uh, from my local computer and have this all run as a script. And so I could talk to files local to my computer, um, uh, maybe save as a script or maybe even package it up to a .exe or a .bat file so that say I can move this to another computer and, and double click and run it and double click to another folder and, and see all the files within those folders um, and ask questions about them. Um, but I think we got to scale back our ambitions and call it a day to day because we did get a running, running piece here. Oh, uh, the last thing I wanted to mention before I close this video out is that uh, Langchain, uh, when you when you get to the quick start, you'll find no uh, the installation you'll find that there are different uh, ways you can pip install it uh, i will i would suggest using this basic one pip install langchain but uh, you have different selectors to install multiple modules so as you can see as i started running i had problems where it said you know i didn't have certain one of these installed and i would just you know stop the script install it, stop the script, install the next one. And that way I don't have like all of the modules installed. I, I think it could get fairly large. So uh, in that sense, didn't need to do that. You would just install the bare minimum and then the next step and the next step and, and just work it through. Uh, again, not immediately obvious, and I'm quite surprised I wasn't able to find like a great tutorial for Llama 2, given the fact that Llama 2 runs very well and is one of the few models you can use locally. Um, hopefully this video uh, shows you kind of step by step the problems I ran into as I started doing this, and I will definitely leave a link to this really great tutorial. Uh, the other ones actually proved pretty distracting if uh, <laughs> um, if anything. So this one was a really good one. Our, our code that we ran largely is basically entirely based off of it. So thanks for watching and I will see you again next week with another project.